fans out there how are you doing it's big porky here and still the voice of hardcore boxing now you might remember that in the last week or so we've had a video online about Kubrek Pulo Pulev is it Kubrek Pulev guy that I've met uh, in Bulgaria a nice guy uh, met his team they're all decent people uh, in Bulgaria Pulev's like uh, he's like David Beckham you know, he's got a place up in mountains and you know, wherever he goes, there's a big, it's a big, he's big news in, uh, it's big news in Bulgaria. When he came to the hotel we were in, Sylvester Stallone were on top floor, so were Pulev and Stallone had NATO security and Pulev had similar security, so he's big news, uh, he's hard to get near. I know for a fact that there's Jenny Sushi. Her real name is Jenny Rivaldo, but she calls herself Jenny Sushi. Uh, she's been allowed into Pulev's inner circle on many occasions. I know this because I spoke to some of Pulev's team. Now, <laughs> there's other videos to come out, but uh, he's had a fight, Annie Pulev, on a Bob Arum show. And uh, he's had a bad cut, he's got through fight, he's excited, he's talking to his friend who's been in his company in his gym many times and been in his company outside of boxing. She knows some of his team, she knows his brother, his manager and he's known her a while and he's gave her a kiss and I didn't think it were a problem. She didn't show it was a problem. She went to the after party that evening. She looked like she was having a good time. There's loads of pictures from that. There's a picture of her gyrating on this guy who was one of Pulev's team, and Pulev sat opposite. He's in close proximity to her. Now, if this woman's traumatised, why has she gone there? Now, she said she's gone there to be professional and to interview boxers now. I'm of the belief that she hasn't even got a press pass. Uh, no, I don't know if that's because of disorganisation on Pulev's part. I don't know. But what I do know and what I've been told today is that Gloria Alred, she worded the statement for the, the girl to read out, as you can see reading it out, She's a professional person, well, look what came out a couple of hours later, very professional, wasn't it? Gyrating on a man that, you know, you don't know or you do know. Apparently she knows them. So it's okay for her to gyrate on somebody that she knows. If she knows them, if she doesn't know that guy, she's gyrating with a lap, dan with a lap dancing dance, and she doesn't know them, that's unprofessional. If she knows them, she's at ease with them. Now what's the difference between her doing that gyrating lap dance and Pulev giving her a kiss on lips as a friend? Now, as far as I'm concerned, Pulev is innocent and everybody's reading into this like he's some, some mad, mad stalker who goes around forcing kisses on women. There's no video evidence to suggest that he pinched a bum no video evidence whatsoever. Now, Uli Wegner 
I've met him. I met him in Bulgaria. Now he was there. He's a gentleman. He said there were none of that. He said yeah, he kissed him, but he was elated because of the fight. Uh, I don't know what to make of it all. It looks to me like she's gone to that party. She'd already posted the video. Her work's done for the day. She never took her camera or any recording equipment to the after party. But yet she's there to do interviews. There were no recording stuff whatsoever taken to that after party. She's gone there to let her hair down. The video's gone out. The pool left video. People have been getting in touch with her on a phone. That Gloria Allred, who's, who at the moment is the woman of the moment in America, she's part of the Me Too movement. She, uh, and I haven't got nothing wrong against her doing the Me Too movement, but this is totally different. But it's starting to have that feel to it. Now, it's been turned on its head by Pulev's team with this video. She said, oh, are you recording? You're not recording this, are you? Well, she put Pula's video out about him kissing on the lips and he asked her not to. Now she didn't want that recorded, but it's recorded. There's other stuff to come out. Now, as far as I'm concerned, Pulef is innocent. She knows this. She's not said a word since this video came out. Utter silence. Well, there's an old saying in England, silence is golden, right? Silence is golden. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, she is a gold digging whore. Behaving like that in front of men is a whore. That's what whores do. If that is not your boyfriend, you are a whore. Now, we all know that she's a gold digger. Now, the boxing community have all turned on her. I've heard today from somebody who knows Bob Arum that top rank don't want her at their shows no more. And it will have a knock-on effect to other shows. Other fighters will be frightened to do interviews with her. And I am calling on other fighters to refuse to do interviews with this woman. Because how could you trust this woman to be alone in your company? She is capable of anything. She's got her five minutes of fame. She can now go on Dancing with the Stars. Or she can play a villain in a, in a, in a kid's pantomime. She could play a wicked witch. But... The main thing is that Pulaf is now a bigger hero than before because everybody sided with him and I'm team Pulaf. Now Pulaf beat my friend Yui Fury, I was there. He deserved the victory, so well done. But give Ryui the rematch down the line, give him a rematch. But boxing aside, this is about this woman here, Jenny Sushi. Her name's Jennifer Rivaldo, not Jenny Sushi. Oh my God, the woman is a fraud. And I think if Gloria Allred has got any credibility, she will drop this case and apologize on behalf of her client and run this broad out of town. Peace out, keep on trucking. Team Pooleth.